what we, what we mean when we speak about open intelligence is the nature of mind, the basis of mind, your power to know, awareness. And um, it's really coming to, to the, what the training supports us in is coming to know open intelligence, the basis of our experience in the flow of our experience as it is. So right now, you can recognize your power to know. And the easiest way to do that is just to simply stop thinking for a moment and notice what remains. Openness, alertness, clarity, the power to know, bright intelligence. Thoughts come back in, open intelligence is still on. The power to know, the, the power that knows those thoughts, the intelligence that knows the next sensation. And we call thoughts, emotions and sensations, we term them data, just to keep it simple. And uh, what we can recognize is that we have bright open intelligence and the data streams arising, whatever they might be for you, completely unpredictable, ceaseless, countless. The thought you had a moment ago, it's gone and the next one appears. But open intelligence is constant throughout open and um, we can see that the open intelligence and data streams are inseparable like the color blue in the sky and the simple practice of balanced view the short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until open intelligence is obvious and that's simply to acknowledge the openness of mind acknowledge open intelligence for a short moment whenever you remember to do so you can test it right now. And the, you know, what's been most amazing about meeting this practice, this training, it was like 10 years ago when I first came to an open meeting and uh, I'd never been introduced to open intelligence. <laughs> I'd never been introduced to the nature of my mind and then a, a t trainer gave the introduction and it was just something about myself that I'd never noticed or had my attention brought to and then given a method and a practice so that I could recognize it whenever I wanted to. It was finding something about myself that was completely reliable, totally stable, clear, open. And um, it was a shift from using my mind in a way from focusing on all the data streams and all the thoughts and emotions and describing them maybe categorizing into positive and negative, liking some, not liking some, wanting more of the ones I liked, less of the ones I didn't like. Do we know that? What we do? <laughs> and um, into recognizing what's really at the basis, what's pervading all experience. And so the recognition of open intelligence started to give this stable basis in which to, to live every moment, to experience every moment like a, a newfound openness in life. Like I didn't, I didn't, I started just through practicing short moments, especially in the beginning I found in like challenging situations or when I felt worried or anxious, I instead of naturally, the impulse would be to go into those data streams, like to go in, you know, worry, so you kind of like start thinking about it. Something comes up, it's a concern thinking about it, thinking about it more and more and more to find a solution. And then I, after being introduced to open intelligence, I thought I'd test out short moments. I thought I'd just recognize open intelligence. And another simple way is just to completely relax, relax mind and body. And that felt instinctively good. Instinctively, there was something there I felt was beneficial. So it was supporting. And so I tested that out with anxiety, just to, just to rest to relax mind and body as that data stream arises and see. And what I saw is that the data stream arises and resolves on its own, leaving no trace, like the flight path of a bird in the sky or like the, a line drawn in space. So that efforting to try and get in there and think about it and fix it and resolve it, it was naturally resolving. And actually from the openness of open intelligence, we see, we see what's needed. There's a clearer view. It's a great metaphor of, of being in the valley 
where you, you're like, like focusing on all our data streams and our thoughts and emotions and the sensations and we just see the sides of the mountains. That's the view. And then we rely on a short moment of open intelligence and the view is open and vast, seeing, seeing so much more but from this open vantage. And it was just like that, with, especially in data streams such as worry or concern. I could see everything and allow the data streams to be as they are, just in a short moment of relaxation. And in that, felt much more prepared to see what would serve, what's the next step, rather than a sense of a sort of spiraling concern, tunneling into these thoughts and emotions. So there was an immediate relief and immediate benefit, and that was very intriguing for me. <laughs> I was like, okay, there's something in this, there's something, a change in how I can use my mind and relate to my experience that feels good, it feels empowering. And the simple practice that I could just use through my day, whatever was occurring. And the best thing is that the, the negative thoughts and emotions or uncomfortable sensations became my reminder to relax. My reminder to rest as open intelligence, rely on open intelligence. So everything started to get a bit more beneficial, <laughs> which is really incredible. There was an opportunity presenting itself in every moment to know open intelligence, to know the nature of my mind, to know the nature of reality, the nature of all experience. Instead of feeling so you know, locked into and limited by ideas or belief systems that I'd just taken to be true, there was a new openness there. And that was so exciting, so exciting. Not limited to who I took myself to be. And there's an amazing training that's offered through, through the Balanced View called the Twelve Empowerments. And really through that, through those twelve sessions, just taking such a clear look at my life and really seeing there was no limitation. So many things I believed about myself, things I could do or couldn't do, or relationships I thought were, were challenging or too difficult, or people, you know, ideas. I had so many ideas I remember about not, one, basically fearing not being liked, and that feeling my well being was so rooted in what other people thought of me. And just through the process of the Twelve Empowerments, seeing like so much opening up. Just through recognizing open intelligence as inseparable from those data streams, seeing right there that I could rest for a short moment instead of emphasizing the data streams, taking them to be true. And more and more there was an availability to life, ever increasingly so. And uh, what Balance View offers is a it's an entire, entire support system. It's called the Four Mainstays, which makes this so easy. It makes it possible <laughs> to rely on open intelligence and gain assurance and confidence. And, um, you know, having the practice of short moments, having a trainer, somebody that I can be in touch with so openly and share about my experience and receive direct, customized support for me. It wasn't at all the world that I came from, <laughs> you could say, asking for support and, you know, thinking that I even needed it. It was a bit more of a, like, self-starter. Do you know that? I can do it. I can do this on my own. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking this life thing. <laughs> I'm happy, you know. Have occasional worries. Nothing too much. And, um, and then coming to the, to the Balance View training and being met with this incredible, open-hearted offering of inconceivable support. It was quite overwhelming in the beginning, I have to say. I didn't quite know how to, how's this going to look for me? Where do I access it and how do I assimilate this into my life? So I just took it at my pace and it was perfect, step by step. But always, any time I stepped, like, moved close to the four mainstays, there was immediate, like, yeah, everything I need, solutions, support, any life situation, everything, everything comes up in life. And then knowing that I just, not just have this practice of short moment, but moments, but there's incredible training texts that evoke the beneficial nature of my mind, of reality, solutions, somebody to support me in that, and a community of people who are also 
making this choice, prioritizing what's most fundamental about all of us. And um, in my experience, it opens up increasingly a life of complete wonder and magic, like one that I didn't even know could be possible. Ever increasing love. <laughs> That's, yeah. So that would be anything I could wish for anybody, is to live knowing, totally assured in your beneficial power, no doubt, and supported in that. And living your life in that way, and in that way unavoidably sharing that with others. You know, when we move through life with that conviction, it's, it's something very special for the world. <laughs>